Well, guys, I didn't find anything. So I guess there's not much to do except for maybe go to the next day. I hate doing that. I feel I'm missing something, but I have no idea what to do. Hopefully tomorrow they'll have that book. So. It's really late. I should get to bed. I should actually do that. I'll let you get back to work. Bye, Nancy. I guess it's worth a worth it just to try. I mean, if I don't have anything to say, it'll be like Logan here. So, what did Bess think of her gift? Oh no, I was going to ask you the same thing. Hmm. One of us should find out. I vote you. Fine. Bye. Bye. What are... Let's see. What the hell? Nancy, how's it going? No. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. It's teacher time. More grammar. Huzzah. Wrong. 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 Sakura, you demon. Ask the demons to help you with your grammar. No. No. bike. <laughs> I've heard people actually say that, but I don't think it's right. So, I play baseball. Baseball, that is a boring game. Anyway. Yes, I have a bike. brothers in the den. 
I plays video games. I just plays video games. That is wrong. I'm holding the wrong one. Do you has a bike? That is wrong. No. Okay. That's a fragment. But I'll correct. I'll say that it's right. Because it's answering that question. I don't know. Can you have a sentence that's just no or yes? I believe you can. You don't have to say, no, I do not have a bike. Even though that's what they usually want you to say. But it is right. Nope, it is. Uh, oh yeah, there's the, um, book that I need. They're sending it to me. Hopefully when I get down there, I'll be there. I have a delivery for you. Here. Yes. Thanks. Do you remember anything about Savannah, the paranormal author? <coughs> that was a long time ago. Not really. She must have been here for a while if she was writing about the Ryokan. You don't remember anything? I remember that she asked too many insensitive questions. I was happy to see her go. I'm sure she was glad to get away from you because you are a bitch. Like, seriously, this person is like the bitchiest Japanese woman I'll ever. I'll get back to work. Okay, see ya. Just like, seriously, if somebody at the hotel, any hotel that I stayed at was that bitchy, I'd be like, no. There, uh, people in Japan are like, weirdly polite. What the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, I was reading that book. Uh, where the hell is it? No. That's not it. Curses? Here we go. Bess. Usually I bring flowers on a first date, but this time I brought a creepy book about ghosts. I hope your friend wasn't kidding about wanting this book, because otherwise this date would probably be weird for both of us. Okay. Let me... No, I need to read it. Okay. 104. Ryukan Hiei. Uh, Japan. To a girl who grew up barefoot on the front porch of a creaky old house in Savannah is just its just about the most exotic place there is on earth. Sometimes in the middle of a stormy night when the wind is whistling and the tree branches are scratching at the windows, I feel I'm back at the Ryukan Hie. On those nights, I often wish I'd never visited that charming inn, charming looking inn on the outskirts of Kyoto. I second, the second I stepped inside the Ryokan's gate, I suddenly understood why I had been called in. For those who have never been in a haunted place, the feeling is unmistakable. Imagine the sensation of taking a rickety roller coaster through a dense fog. Now multiply that by tenfold. The atmosphere inside the Ryokan, however, was even thicker. The inn was washed in an unearthly sense of cold, and the fire pit in the lobby c couldn't touch that the fire in the lobby couldn't touch. The whole structure rated uncertainty and dread. Something terrible lived there. Really? Because I haven't gotten that feeling. Anyway. The inn was, and still is, run by a truly wonderful family. Takai and her granddaughter Miwako took excellent care of Logan and I, but we were both extremely tight-lipped about the history of, they were both extremely tight-lipped about the history of the Ryukan. A neighbor boy ran... Tarno 
was able to shed a little light on the situation. Innkeeper's daughter, Kasumi, recently died under mysterious circumstances. Ever since her death, the inn began to change rapidly for the worst. Kai had begun to worry that her daughter, Yore, was haunting the Ryokan. I set up my equipment right away. Luckily, I had my entire EVP kit ready. I, pl I placed the microphones in place and felt the greatest disturbance by the fire pit in the lobby, behind the old cherry tree in the gardens, by both baths in the upstairs hallways. Baths, you say? Oh, both baths. You know? Baths. There's only one. Hmm. And in the upstairs hallways. Sound travels very well in the old Rio Con, so my equipment picked up more conversations than usual. But nothing supernatural. At 2 a.m., however, all that changed. The lights in my room suddenly flickered and cut off. I rushed downstairs to my recorders. I couldn't hear a thing, but the readings were off the charts. Before I listened to the audio, I saw her pale, thin, pale and thin, with long black hair dripping muddy water moving through the shadows. Despite my experience, I froze as she slipped out of sight. I stood there in the lobby until the sun finally came up, half hoping she would reappear, and the other half desperately hoping to never see her again. Kai woke me that afternoon. We had to leave. Kasumi, she said, had changed her mind. Whatever faith Takai had in me the day before was now gone. I doubt I was the only one to see a ghost that the night before, gave her my card and told her to call me back if she ever changed her mind. That she will. I have to admit, I'm a little weird. I, I'm a little relieved. On the bus to the temple the next morning, I re reviewed my EVP tapes. I heard sounds like a. So, uh, when what I heard sounded like a hundred voices repeating a single word in Japanese. I pulled my. Pulled out my transliterated phrase book. The word simply meant leave. It was the kind of message that you want to, that you only want to hear, once you're long gone. I still sometimes worry about the Shimizu family, and can't help but wonder what it might, what it must be like for them during those long nights, when the woman I saw in the shadows is awake. Centralia Pa. What is that? Pennsylvania? I don't know. That just doesn't matter. Okay, we need. That's the second thing telling us that we need uh, EVP stuffs. Let's see if this nerdo's got any. Hi! Have you ever heard of EVP? Electronic voice phenomenon? That hole if you go to haunted places and record the ambient noise, when you turn it way up you'll hear things that are too quiet for the human ear. Ghosts, specters, all sorts of baddies. Nonsense if you ask me. But still, the idea sort of gives me the creeps. Savannah mentioned it in her book. I wonder if you know how I could try it out. Oh sure, I got something that can do that. I've got a bunch of little recorders actually. I'm trying to find the right one to record new sounds for the Rentaro 4000. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. All you have to do is hook it up to the speakers over there. I have a program that edits out dead audio. Oh, bad pun. It'll cut right to the parts that actually have recorded sound. Oh, and once I've got it fixed, you have to check out the new recorder I sort of reverse engineered a little. Okay, what's it do? It's awesome! High data wireless transfer! Here's something you like, just push a button. It zips it to your computer. If you want to send everyone a message, you just speak into it, push send all, and it shoots what you've recorded to everyone's voicemail inbox. Very, very cool! I just gotta keep fussing with you. Okay, I heard none of what you said. I zoned out, because... 